And finally, new rule, grow a pair. Last week, the Democrats made a terrible decision when they announced that they had turned down Fox News' offer to host one of their 2020 primary debates, saying Fox was nothing more than propaganda. Okay, so why not go on Fox News and tell them that? You want to be in the... You want to be in the big leagues, but you refuse to ever play an away game? Yeah, yeah. You don't like the questions that Fox News might ask, so you're deciding to not take any questions at all? How very Trump of you. <laughs> this, is a, this is a fundamental problem with the Democratic Party. They look weak, running from a fight when they should be in there throwing punches. Republicans never shy away from coming on this show and they come with a smile on their face, despite knowing that the only people in the crowd cheering them on are the three campaign aides they brought with them. <laughs> <laughs> the ones who eat all the food in the green room. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is against them, and they don't care, because it's an opportunity to expose people to your side of the story. So what if there are groans? Groans won't kill you. Political TV is full of groans and eye rolls and pouting and, worst of all, Tucker face. <laughs> never want to get Tucker face. I used to think the reason I never saw prominent Democrats on Fox News was they weren't invited. I thought they were banned from appearing on the network like I am. <laughs> but no, they're invited. They just don't go. Well, I shouldn't say all. Here's a list of prominent Democrats who do frequently go on Fox News. Congressman Eric Swalwell. That's it. <laughs> really, that's the list. Last week, Swalwell tweeted, I've been on nearly every Fox show. I don't go on because I accept the views of their hosts, but because I respect that some of their viewers are open-minded. Exactly. 19% of all voters, Democrat and Republican, said Fox News was their main source of campaign news. That's ahead of every other source. It's more than ABC, CBS, and NBC combined. Only 3% of voters said their main source was the New York Times, and they were lying. <laughs> Look, we all know Fox News sucks. It's ruined Facebook and Thanksgiving and turned your grandpa into a dick. He's crabby now, and he only leaves the house once every four years. <laughs> but unfortunately, it's to vote. <laughs> you have to get inside the bubble. You call yourself the resistance, then fight behind enemy lines. That's what a resistance does. That's the difference between blowing up a tank and tweeting about it. <laughs> get out of your echo chamber and infiltrate theirs. I noticed that the new tradition for Democrats, who've just announced, they're running is to go on Rachel Maddow. Spoiler alert, you already have her vote. <laughs> Jesus, Democrats, they're like Mormons if Mormons only proselytized in Utah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Mormons for 100 years have gone all over the world with one goal, to spread their faith to people who don't want it. to spread it to savages with their own weird gods, like the French. <laughs> but that's how you build a brand. Look at Samoa. 15% of it is Mormon. Do they look Mormon? <laughs> Was it an easy sell when the guys with white shirts and clip-on ties showed up? <laughs> you know, President Kennedy said, we choose to go to the moon, not because it's easy, but because it's hard. Where's that kind of Democrat today? So what if Fox News is fixed? Life is fixed. You want a fair shake? Go get a massage with Robert Kraft. 